In today's episode, we are going to talk about how to copy materials between two 3D Studio Maxes or between objects. As you can see here, we're going to use this script from Kotiger.co. Uh, you can, uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description. I'm also going to show you how to install the, the program and also how to buy it. So there are two versions. There is a light version and a pro version. In the light version, unfortunately, you can't copy a material between two different 3D Studio Maxes, but on the pro version, you can, you can do that. So if you go and buy the version, as you can see here, you just buy this and yeah, you just need to add all your details in here. The total price is 726, which is quite a small price for a script that can help you to, to do this. Okay. I already downloaded all of this. So now let's install the script. So this is what you are going to get from the buyer in the moment that you're going to buy the script and here is going to explain us how to, to use it so it's very easy to install it you just run the script and then you need to go to user interface and to create a new toolbar and so on so okay let's do this so first of all i'm going to open my g studio max uh, i'm going to minimize this i'm going to drag and drop Okay, now I'm gonna go to customize, user interface, toolbars, and here I'm gonna try to look for um, code script. Okay, these are the script. I'm gonna create a new toolbar. I'm gonna call it code script, this one. And now I'm just gonna Okay, oh, I just did that. I'm just gonna leave this here for now. So this is the copy and this is the paste. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to create box and to this box, I'm gonna apply a material from Corona uh, library. Okay, let's have a look here. I'm gonna try to find the texture that can be very visible. I'm gonna apply this brick new, I'm gonna right click sign to selected object as you can see it's already assigned the texture is quite big because also the objects is quite small so let's see here let's make the object bigger so we can see the texture now it is a real world map size so in case you don't know what real world map size i'm gonna leave a link on the uh, right side top or up i made a video only about this so real world map size i'm using only this so this is uh, our uh, uh, material and texture and now what i'm going to do i'm gonna create another object here this time a teapot and i'm going to copy the texture from here and apply it directly here uh, this is very useful because most of the time you need to open the material editor and then pick the textures from one side it's gonna appear here and then you apply this material into the object but we don't want to do that so because this is quite a long way to do it so we're just gonna use this script i'm gonna use the copy material and mapping okay i'm gonna select my second object and i'm gonna apply uh, material and uvv As you can see, it worked very fast uh, without any problems. The size of the textures is the same. The only thing is that here on the teapot, the size is getting stretched because the teapot has a very funny shape. So I'm gonna use a cylinder, for example, and I'm going to apply again. And now if I move the cylinder next to my uh, my book yeah, you can see that uh, they are exactly the same size but if you want to copy and paste a material between two di different 3d studio maxes you need to understand that i'm gonna make here also quite a huge box so yeah you need to understand that in the moment that you make the copy of the material you need to uh, sh press shift on the keyboard so i'm gonna select my objects i'm gonna press shift i'm gonna make a copy and now here on the bottom part, you saw that it made a copy. And now I'm going in my second 3D Studio Max and I'm pressing shift and I'm applying the material and the UV. 
so it took me just a couple of seconds to do that as you can see the texture is exactly in the same size i can even create here i'm gonna delete this i can create here a fear for example we shift pushed i'm gonna apply the material and the uv and as you can see this is my object in both cases the objects were real world map size as i said you, i have made a tutorial about uh, real world map size so you can just go it's here on the right side is going to pop up uh, you can go and check it out it's very very useful okay another thing that uh, i would like to discuss in this is to i'm gonna just apply on UV map to this and it's on planner as you can see it's going to apply the texture stretch on the side because it's, uh, it's planner on the top so what I'm going to do now I'm gonna con uh, shift and copy material and mapping and I'm going to apply with shift and paste the same uh, UV mapping. This was the today's lesson I hope you learned something yes this uh, script is costing money but uh, the good part is that it's costing only six dollars i mean it's 726 because you also need to pay vat but uh, i think it's worth paying the money because you can have this uh, script forever so in case you liked it please don't forget to subscribe in case you didn't do it share it with your friends uh, in case you have friends that are using 3d steel max and see you in the next one bye